the Titanic was actually a hit job. So basically what happened was all the richest people in the world in 1912 were supposed to be on this ship. And you had the Rothschilds and their JP Morgan. All of these guys are supposed to be on this, sh on this ship, but there's also another guy who was on that ship. His name was Mr. Uster. He was the richest man in America at that time. He owned 40% of every mortgage in America. Imagine 40%. This guy's a gangster. I'm not saying he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. But basically, this guy was in the way of the Federal Reserve. They wanted to create a central bank, the Rothschilds, and they couldn't. They already owned Europe, but they didn't own America yet. Yeah. They can't just take someone out of that important. You know, this guy's just too important to shoot. So what they basically did, they made this big deal, everyone going on the ship. Yeah. And then in the last seconds, all the Rothschilds people exited the ship. Yeah. Uh, the ship sunk. All of a sudden, the richest guy in America died on the ship. Yeah. And then next year, 1913, they started the Federal Reserve Bank because there is no more opposition to it.